ball. Zero to decide on fourth and seven, and they decide to go for it. the PAT 72 of 76 this year Wells the highest scoring kicker in a single season in Panther history that's his 106th point this year Army and did go back was basically the same play that they had run on third down it was just overthrown so you would think that the secondary would be able to recognize this you want to look at the offensive linemen they raise straight up so you know it's play action pass they go out, Will Wagner's behind everybody, and Chase can throw the football. 22nd touchdown pass of the season, and then a nice job of recognizing where his ball player was going to be. So with our score seven all, we will be right back at Texas Stadium. I made a statement about the offensive lineman standing straight up. If you're number 20 in the free safeties and everybody back there, you've got to recognize that they're not penetrating as an offensive unit. It's going to be the play-action pass. Therefore, you look straight over to number 10, Will Wagner. You've got to find him. And if you're number 25, you cannot get behind him. Todd Siebert normally not fooled. That time he came up trying to be too aggressive in supporting the run. So the Panthers tied on a five-play, 46-yard drive, minute and a half on the 31-yard connection. Stormy Case brings him back. The second quarter has been the Panthers' quarter all year. They dominate every period, but especially the second, 190 to 10, coming into this game. The split kick returned to the 35-yard line. Bottom of the pile was Curtis Ormond and Marshall, which did anything they wanted in their opening drive and then marched backwards second time they had it. Now, obviously, realizing that they got the Panthers' attention. I think Permian coaches now, they're such a good, solid coaching staff. They've been together since they, they all started in the junior high system, the feeder system that supports the high school level. They make adjustments on the sidelines. They talk, communicate with their players, and they're trying to figure out how to stop that toss sweep that Marshall's been so effective with. Saldana's turn. And the give to Holmes. Comer from middle linebacker sticks him after a gain of two. Let's go again down to Dan Debenham. Give him four, second and six. And again, Holmes. Craig, you get it. Since the opening drive, he's had to do it on his own. The holes have not been as, as wide open as they were. That quick Permian defensive front unit is getting into the backfield. He's having to he's having to avoid one person in the backfield fight, trying to get the yardage that, it, you know, at coming up at second down and third down and two, it looks good, but all on his own. A reminder, coming up at the half, Craig and I will recap all the highlights of the first half. We'll also check with Dan on the field and features some great halftime shows from the Ram and Panther bands. Plus, we see what's new at the Texas High School Football Hall of Fame. That's all coming up at halftime. 10.22 to go. Reza will not get the first down. Perez and Comer on the tackle, and as undersized as they are, the Panthers have to go with emotion over power. And uh, from the 
first series on, the emotion has overpowered the size advantage that Marshall has up front. The only thing that can, or one of the big things that can kill the running game is penetration into the backfield. That time, the offensive lineman, number 75, Mark Brown, was in the backfield. He's got to come off, stay lower than the man in front of him, and not allow any penetration. Noster's second kick of the day. This one much better. Fair catch, 17-yard line for Wagner. And the Panthers will try to break the tie. Well, of course, 7-7. We'll be right back after this message from our local station. In the playoffs, has won their games by an average of 29 points. Marshall by an average of 28 points. That would lead you to believe this is going to be a very even matchup, and so far it has been. 7-all, 9-31 to go first half. Bermian taking over at their 17 after a 39-yard kick by Sean Noster. The total yardage just about as even as the score. Leaping past the line to the 25. That's about eight yards on first down. The safety, Mark Fuchik, 6'3", 195-pound senior, made the tackle. And Hamilton averaging this year right at six and a half yards per carry. And they're doing the same thing that Marshall did on the opening drive, stretching the defense, allowing Hamilton, the ball carrier, to find a way to get back into the crease and find the daylight. So the third best year any Permian back has ever had. Byzantine said he's the great mixture of power and speed. Power inside, speed to get outside. Williams, the sophomore, bounces off the pile. Finally wrapped up at the 20 by Gann. Loss of five. Gann up from strong outside linebacker. You talk about team team pursuit. It's a misdirection play. The OT can't really going to the right side. Guard tackle pulling, trying to kick out over there. And then everybody from Marshall tries to get to the football. Big play by Marshall at this end of the field to shut him down on that play. And finished him off. The guy that sent him backwards was the strong inside linebacker, number 60, Howard Short, and it's third and seventh. Case looking that way. Will keep. Break a tackle. And lose the ball. And the Rams have it at the 29. Todd Siebert paused the fumble and now covers the fumble. And Craig, this just does not happen to Permian. Again, they didn't turn it over the last two games. They win because they win the turnover battle and they've lost it so far they scored on the touchdown in the previous play they flood the left side with three wide receivers this time case it looks like he's going to have a good job of just getting it all on his own but number 71 comes from behind strips the ball and alertness on the defense their 40th turnover defensively this year Siebert recovers and with the hit but it really looked like case lost it on his own one or two that time for Carlos Reza the Rams have got to cash in. You don't get this many chances. 29 yards away of the Panther goal line. We have 7.35 and a half. Hauling said the team trailed after the opening kick 7-0. Quickly tied it. And now in trouble. That really looked like Case uh, perhaps victimized by slippery football. And as you made a point of earlier, it looks like the ball players might be going for it with a hands tackling the football. Anthony Holmes, great balance to the 20, close for a first down. Steve Kelly on the tackle again to Dan. Third and one, full house. Holmes, first down. Holmes, touchdown.
to bug out when he had his choice of holes. What a job by Cravens, Brown, Harms, Wilson, and Jaramillo up front. He could have gone anywhere he wanted. Talking about his eyes bugging out, I jump out of my seat in this booth. That, what a great move in the secondary to slide through two defenders. Jason Briggs makes it 14-7 Marshall. It's his 24th touchdown this year. It's his 80th yard today on his 14th carry. Being opportunistic. As an offensive team, your defense gives it to you. Big cut back hole to the inside. He does that. Now watch the move here. Excellent vision. Knowing somebody's going for his feet, picking his legs up. And I know this. Every college recruiter in this stadium just jumped up and down saying, oh, I hope he considers <laughs> Their eyes are as wide as his. On the Rams, on top, 14-7. We will be right. Permian coaches have got to be on the sideline telling their backside players, once you see the play going there, you've got to come down the line of scrimmage to cut off the backside cutoff play from Holmes. He's a cutback runner. The only looks like on that run, Eric Dickerson, you would know. Now, is that an apt comparison or not? Yeah, with those shoulder, those pads from behind flopping in the breeze there as he goes down to score. He just gets the uh, the mask on the uh, on the eyes. Yeah. He'll have the whole look. <laughs> Putting some goggles on. Yeah. <laughs> Henry Woods will kick it off. One hopper returns from the 21 out to the 34, maybe the 35-yard line by Bubba Jones. And again, Permian in the unaccustomed position of having to come from behind. 6-16 to play first half. They haven't had the ball enough to really show what they're about, which is grinded out ball control. Yeah, they turned the ball over twice. That halted two drives. Marshall took advantage of the last one, goes in and scores. It was the case fumble that led to this go-ahead touchdown on Holmes' 20-yard scamper. Homer in motion, first man through. And leaning forward for an extra yard or two, Hamilton, brought down by Howard Short. Marshall's got such a strong defense. They've only allowed 100 rushing yards per game on the ground, a 73 through the air, and they're very much like Permian. Stingy on defense, not allowing many points scored a ball game, only eight throughout the season. They've only allowed 19 points to be scored throughout the playoffs, had three shutouts in five games. Canyon sums up their philosophy, says all we try to do is hit people harder than they've ever been hit before. again out of an ankle tackle ball might be loose again Rams reacting as if they pounced on another fumble short was there along with Noster and they say still Permian ball and bring up third down and a long five I'm a firm believer that a, a ball club can create opportunities for themselves now watch number 38 in the middle of your screen Hamilton the ball carrier as he gets up and then back into the lane, you'll see that people will pull towards the football. They want to get it out of there. One hand goes to the ball. People reaching up off the ground. You, as a ball carrier today for Permian, you better put two hands around it. Hamilton did. Held on to it. And case to the air on third down. Wagner, this will be close. The spot will tell the story. Siebert was right on him. And Byzantine wants Todd Siebert to follow Will Wagner wherever he goes today. First down. And with that kind of hit there, Will Wagner's hoping that he kind of forgets where he's at. Excellent concentration. A big league catch right here by Wagner. Holding on to the football, hand strength and all. I mean, that's part of being a Permian football player. If you're not tough, you don't even go out and ask for a shoulder pad or a head gear. You just stay at home. the other outside linebacker quickly there we go under the four minute mark 